Chef, the Christmas season, and I would have one nicely cake. I could make one then. What kind of cake? A black cake, fruit cake, white cake, caramel cake, cheesecake, carrot cake, sponge cake. Look at all white cake. White cake? Or a yellow cake. A yellow cake. A yellow, yellow, yellow cake. cake. With caramel pan top, like the full traditional, full, full works. Okay, let's Look do it. Then. Let's do it. Okay, so since we're going to make the yellow cake, you get the joy of creaming the butter and the sugar together. Perfect. So right here we have one cup of butter. We're using the creamy butter. It has to be. And the only way to make yellow cake, mix this up, right? Yeah. You want to cream it together until the butter gets really light. It's almost going to get airy and it's going to look pale in color. And while you do that, I'm going to sift three cups of flour with two teaspoons of baking powder. I love Christmas time, you know. I love meeting up with my family, cooking, eating especially. What do you do with your family, Chef? Oh, well, we have like, we gear up for Christmas. So we uh -huh. got like one pre-ham. Pre-ham? Like, pre yes, because you have to bake one ham. So the weeks before Christmas, we could eat ham sandwich. I could gear up for the Christmas ham. My mom, she makes some nice sweet rolls. I love that with her ham. I love the parties that we have. I love meeting up with our friends and families. Such a festive time of the year. My most favorite time of the year. Yeah. It is? So, Chef, do you want me to keep on stirring this with the wooden spoon? Should I yes. change to a whisk? Or just you keep can, on? You can keep cleaning it. Okay. So you said pale yellow, right? Mm -hmm. Now that the butter has been creamed with the sugar, we're going to incorporate the eggs one by one. Okay. Bloop. You know why they call it yellow cake? Because of the egg yolks. So we add two extra yolks to the cake so that it could be yellow in color. Now it's time for the yolks. <laughs> now we're just scraping down the butter and the sugar from the edges of the bowl to make sure it's fully incorporated. Now we're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla essence. And then we're going to add in... That's a lot. An ounce of brandy. I'm going to start by adding in... The sifted... One fourth of the sifted flour. Can you over mix a cake? You can, so you want to be very gentle with it. Let's add in the milk, chef. We're going to alternate between the milk and the flour. And it's the flour. a cup of milk. Perfect. So I'll just mix. Remember not to over mix. And I'm going to put in another one fourth. Of, of the, the flour. flour. Remember to always get, get the side of the bowl. Mixing everything up. I always remember visiting my aunt for Christmas and she would have like a long table and multiple tables just loaded with yellow cake. I have an aunt just like that as well in Orange Walk. You sure we know how to see an auntie? Do we? I think my auntie came nice and I your auntie. <laughs> <laughs> what tell my auntie about you? Which auntie that? My dear Olga from Orange Walk. And your auntie, where's she from? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what I like to do a little bit different is I like to take a few cups of the butter and about three tablespoons of some of the caramel. Oh, so you are swirling the caramel yeah. with the butter and then you are, so you'll be like a marble kind of cake? Yes. Man. I, I like doing that because I feel like it gives the cake a trust flavor. That sounds really good, Chef. And I, the caramel going on top, and you add more caramel inside, that does sound amazing. You want me to start pouring the butter into the yes, mold? Yes, So we have a silicone mold here. Mm -hmm. It's a Christmas tree. So, man, I feel the joy. Um, we have our silicone mold that's been sprayed with palm. You have to grease it up. Since this is a lot of butter, we're going to be making two cake. This are the one you share with the people, this are the one you keep yeah. at home. When right? they come visit you, you share the smaller cake. 
Not sure the bigger kick. <laughs> so now we're going to be adding our caramel mixture into the into cake. The cake yeah. Both cakes. So let's go ahead with that. I'll put little dollops in there. Mm -hmm. So chef, is there any specific way we should swirl in the butter? No, we just want to mix in, in this case, just the flavor. Okay. Not much appearance, because it's not like it's a completely different marble bean, you know? Okay. We have our oven preheated at 350 degrees. And how and long do we cook it for? We're going to cook it for anywhere between 25 to 30 minutes. Till it's done? Till it's done. Okay, I'm going to put it in then. Now that our cake is ready, we're going to be taking it out of the mold and adding caramel to the top, adding yep. joy to the top. This looks so good, Chef. Thank you very much for helping oh, me. Oh, you're welcome. Let's dig in. Sure. Mmm. Mm. Delicious, moist. And the caramel inside, that was mm -hmm. a really good tip. Very buttery. Thank you very much, Chef, for You're showing welcome. me how to make that. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more. Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, you could follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and even YouTube. And we're building your dream kitchen. Buy all your appliances at www.mabibilis.com.